What's up, mother what's up? My name is Josh, and thank you guys for tuning in to an exciting episode of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Previously, we decided to head up this mountain to take the 7,000 step uh, road, or something like that. <clears throat> and today, well, we reached the top of the mountain. Now, I was playing off camera, just messing around, and for I guess my game auto-saved over the save. So we made it up the hill, or up the mountain, excuse me. And there wasn't really anything in the way, other, other than that, it was just... Simple, oh, let's just walk down here, or walk up the hill. There wasn't any enemies. There was an ice troll. I decided to fight it. <laughs> a very, very bad mistake. So trolls and giants are two enemies I really want to avoid. <clears throat> now, the thing is, is that, I don't think I just said, I just said this, but I'm voicing over a recording because I forgot to turn on the microphone recorder on Fraps. So I have to talk over some of this stuff. <laughs> to you guys now a lot of this part is dialogue. I just finished a quest right there, too so a Lot of this part right here is dragonborn stuff So if you guys want to listen to what the guys have to say or the graybeards <clears throat> Then uh, listen up it, this is actually really interesting things I just uh, also uh, one thing I would really want to say is that I really want you all to know what I'm doing and see what's going on. That's why I'm recording all this stuff, you know, even though it's not all that important. It's still interesting good here. story. So anyways, I'm going to shut up now. Listen. In the turning of the age. First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Poof! Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angin. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. We are the Greybeard. Followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Tinavith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Well, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thum or shot. Learning a word of power is only the first step. You must...
must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einard will allow you to tap into his understanding of rope. your unrelenting force shout to strike the target as they appear. Well done. Again. You learn quickly. Once more. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. So basically what I just did was I increased my dragon shout to a lart to a more powerful shout. The first one was actually kind of like the enemies would stumble back, oh, what was that? Now this, now the, and as you can see right there, the shout is a lot more powerful. That is, if I hold down Z longer, <coughs> and I've seen the final dragon shout, the one that I have, it basically pushes enemies to a. Let's it basically, I think it's unrelenting force shout basically pushes enemies out of my way, and they fly like a few feet away, which is awesome. Now out here, I'm going to actually be learning a new dragon shout, and it's very interesting, and I think you guys would like to hear about it. So, listen up. Master Bori will teach you wool, which means whirlwind. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. Rex. Wolf. Attack. Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes.
your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrau. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkor. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward action. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Sky. Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. to see you again. How'd that delivery go? Quite a climb, wasn't it? Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. Thanks again for the...
All right, guys. Well, there's not going to be anything else more in anything interesting about this uh, part. But all I'm saying is, I again, I'm sorry if I forgot to voice over. I, I'm usually not good with voicing over what I have recorded already. I prefer live commentary and stuff like that. Though I will be introducing something new to the next <clears throat> um, episode is going to be fast forwarding sequences. I'm going to be fast forwarding it, but using music from the from Skyrim. So. I don't think there should I don't think there should be any problems with that. And I hope you guys like that. See there you go. I can't travel um, fast at this time or something like that. There's I think there's like a limit. But I'm not positive for how that works. But um anyways guys, thank you all for watching. If you like the episode, please thumbs up the episode. If you have friends, they will see it. If they see it, they can like it and subscribe. And if they subscribe, we got more sexy subscribers. And the more sexy subscribers you get. Well, the more times I will be able to forget to turn on the recording sound and screw up big time. So again, guys, thank you all for watching. You all have a good day, and I'll see you all next episode. Peace out and freak out. Bye.